Over the years, Disney and Pixar have created movies based around a variety of lovable creatures, from princesses and frogs, to video game characters, to children's toys come to life when their owners aren't looking. For their newest release, Pixar has tapped into a character who previously played the sidekick to a clownfish on the hunt for his missing son. But there are lots of other characters from Disney and Pixar with their own stories to tell. Just like Finding Dory, here are 10 Disney and Pixar sidekicks who deserve their own movie. Bing Bong. There was plenty to laugh and cry at in Pixar's Inside Out, and one character who managed to cause both reactions in audience members was Riley's imaginary friend Bing Bong. The character has everything needed for a Pixar movie of his own. A theme song, an eccentric personality, and a heartbreaking story. Though Inside Out doesn't leave room for a sequel following Bing Bong, the imaginary part cat, part elephant, part dolphin creature could certainly lead a prequel film about his time with Riley, and how their relationship changed as she got older. Mushu and Creaky. Two companions to Mulan in the Disney movie surrounding her decision to join the army in her father's place, Mushu and the Lucky Cricket are the comedic relief to the heroine, the Timon and Pumbaa to the Lion King Simba of sorts. But unlike Timon and Pumbaa who received their own movie in The Lion King One and a Half, however the characters are a perfect focus for a spin-off. Whether they go on their own mission to save China or act as the Fa family's guardians with another member of the house, Mushu and Creaky deserve their own Disney movie. Edna Mode. Although Frozone, or any number of fellow superheroes from The Incredibles, would easily be able to sustain their own movie, Edna Mode could provide a departure from the typical superhero story. Instead, a movie following the fashion designer could focus on her unique side of the superhero world, as the person in charge of creating and mending the superhero suits. With her demanding nature, her talent for working with special fabrics, and perhaps some other hidden skills that weren't on display in The Incredibles, Edna could easily be the lead in her own adventure. Roz. When first introduced in Monsters, Inc., Roz seemed to be a straightforward character, a grouchy, no-nonsense worker to Mike and Sully's more complicated antics. So when Roz is revealed to be an undercover agent with the Child Detection Agency, viewers are taken by surprise in the abrupt turnaround from boring co-worker to mysterious secret agent. Considering Roz spent years undercover and previously worked for the CDA prior to that mission, there is still plenty that Pixar fans don't know about this particular monster, and plenty of ground to cover in an entire movie dedicated to Roz. Baymax, the healthcare robot devoted to making sure Hiro Hamada was safe and healthy, quickly became a scene stealer in Disney's Big Hero 6. Between Baymax having trouble understanding the complexities of humans and his silly disposition when his battery is depleted, the character easily became a favorite among fans young and old. Plus, though he begins the film as Hero's healthcare companion, Baymax becomes a hero in his own right. So a Baymax-centric movie would be a perfect sequel or spin-off from Big Hero 6. Disney just needs to come up with a reason for Baymax to go on a solo mission. Little Green Men. There are plenty of different characters from Pixar's three Toy Story movies who deserve their own films, like Bonnie's Toys Buttercup, Peas in a Pod, and Mr. Pricklepants. But some of the more mysterious characters who have shared the screen with Woody and Buzz are the Little Green Men that the toys meet at Pizza Planet. Other than their devotion to their claw god, we don't know much about these little green aliens. Given how Illumination's minions have taken over pop culture, the world may be ready for a movie all about Toy Story's Little Green Men. Cogsworth and Lumiere. Before Belle stepped into the Beast's castle and began to unravel the magic spell that had been placed on the prince, those who populated the fortress were busy leading their own enchanted lives. From Cogsworth and Lumiere to other members of the household like Mr. Potts, Chip, and the wardrobe, the prince's castle was full of ordinary people stuck in an extraordinary world. So what was life like in the castle before Belle arrived? or before the Enchantress cast the spell on the prince and everyone else in the household. Cogsworth and Lumiere, with their charming banter, could certainly sustain an entertaining prequel all their own. Scuttle. Before Marlin, Nemo, and Dory led audiences on a new adventure through the Big Blue Sea, Ariel, Sebastian, and Flounder were the go-to ocean experts in The Little Mermaid. But when it came to knowledge of the land, they turned to Scuttle the Seagull, whose expertise of human objects is unparalleled. In its ridiculousness, of course. The eccentric bird with his penchant for coming up with unique names like Dinglehopper and Snarfblat would be a fun guide through the human world in his own movie, perhaps on his own quest to find an especially intriguing object, like a spork? Russell and Doug. After the first 10 minutes or so of Up effectively leaves everyone in the audience heartbroken, the movie proceeds to build viewers back up through Carl's continued adventure after the death of his wife and co-adventurer Ellie. Along the way, Carl meets wilderness explorer Russell and a dog with the ability to speak named Doug. Though Up seems to bring Carl's story to a close, Russell and Doug are only at the beginning of their adventuring days. What other wilderness explorer badges does Russell earn? Does Doug ever catch a squirrel? Those questions could be answered in a Pixar movie completely devoted to these sidekicks turned adventurers. Olaf. 
An enthusiastic snowman with a love of summertime and warm hugs, the character of Olaf easily won over the hearts of viewers in Disney's Frozen. The friendliest snowman in Arendelle was created by Elsa's magic as a friend for Anna, and helps the younger princess rescue her sister from herself, as well as the villainous Hans. Though Frozen ends with Arendelle's magically induced winter coming to an end, and Elsa creating a snow cloud to keep Olaf solid, there's still more story to tell with this happy snowman. Maybe he follows in Dory's footsteps and goes on a journey to find a family. There are many sidekicks in the history of Disney and Pixar animation who deserve their own movies. So did we miss any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.